Hello everybody, I'm Andamar Central and welcome to Sheffield. We're currently walking um, sort of the back roads um, in the sort of West Street, Devonshire um, green part of Sheffield. Walking up to the bus stop near Rockingham Street um, to jump on the buses that we're covering in this video today. So as you can hear, all the road workers and all the people building and the flats and things have just started construction and it's always really, really good when you're doing a video introduction. Well, what we're covering in this video, as a lot of you will be aware, that in Sheffield we've recently just had some new buses arrive. We've just had some 695, um, 69502, 3, 4 and 8 arrive. 4X Discover Bus B7R Elite Eclipse Urbans. On the day that I'm filming this, three out of the four have entered service. So two and eight have been out a while. And as of today, um, 69504 has also entered service. So we're going to go on hopefully two, potentially three, all three of them that are out today. And we'll see how we go. But first we're going to do a trip on one of them. And that is on the Meadow Hall service. I think there's one on the Meadow Hall and 9595A. And one literally 15 minutes behind it. So the plan is, is to do one of them up to Meadowall, one of them back, and then we'll see where the other one is in the third example um, once we get back. So the buses themselves have had a lot of work done to them. Um, they feature sort of some of the features that they still had when they were part of the Discover Bus network, um, but they've had a few extra features and things added since then. So what we're going to do is we're going to sample the vehicles, see what they're like, see all the features on them, see how nice they look. Um, and anything else I may have missed in this introduction. So we're at the bus stop now and I will see you all when the first bus arrives. So here's our bus in the form of 69502. It will take us on the 95 to Meadow Hall, BJ10 VGC. Know that these haven't yet been branded. Um, quite a lot I think are waiting for branding at the moment. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. So as you can see, this one clearly hasn't um, had a seat retrim yet, a seat refurbishment or anything done inside. It's still got the Discover branding on the front, it's still got these sort of blue seat backs. In fairness, the blue seat backs do work quite well um, with the Sheffield blue livery, so nice to see these still here. But it still has the sort of leather seating on the back um, that it had when it was on the Discover network. It's important to note as well that as you could see in that um, previous clip these do have USB ports, one at the back here um, for some reason is missing, it's been taken out or been vandalised or something um, but these vehicles do feature USB ports on both sides all the way down. They're not like you'd usually expect underneath the seats or behind or on the seat in front like the seat back um, in front of you but they're actually on the sides so physically on the wall um, of the bus going all the way down from the back here all the way to the front. So little cool things like that that make these quite unique. I didn't bring my USB cable with me, um, I usually demonstrate the USB parts. Um, oh, there we go. Um, so I usually bring the USB um, cable with me um, to demonstrate the parts. Um, I'll see what the other ones are like, I'll show you the um, other vehicles to see what they're like because I think at least one of them has been retrimmed inside. I'm certain one of them has been retrimmed, but we'll see um, because there's at least one, potentially two of us out today. Um, and we'll also have a little look to see how their USBs and make sure they all have USB ports as well because obviously it seems to be quite hit and miss with these.
him. That's where we are in Meadowhall. So I thought for a little bit of a sum up while we have a bit of a break in Meadowhall I thought I'd um, use the bus as a bit of a background. So that was 69502 that we've just been on that is numerically um, the first one that Sheffield has. Unlike what you'd expect, where you'd expect if it's going to be 4 it'd be 69501, 2, 3 and 4. Um, they've actually transferred 69502, 3, 4 and eight and um, it's eight's a bit of an odd one you'd expect them to either transfer five or one but instead they transferred eight um, so we do have four examples but there's no sort of the three of them are numerically um, similar the fourth one is just a bit of an oddball now speaking of that 69508 is on the 81 and 82 services and um, the Dahl and um, Hillsborough um, Sheffield and sort of Ecosol Road corridor services so what we're going to do is we're going to go and find that unfortunately the one that was behind this that entered service today 69504 has been taken off it's gone off the tracker it looked like it terminated in the city centre and came back to Dapper either through a fault or potentially there was no driver for it and so what we're going to do is we're going to whiz into Sheffield on an X1 or an X78 and we're going to go and get 69508 um, that I believe will be on either will be on the 81 or the 82 and um, all I know is is we're going to be catching it in the Hillsborough direction so we'll see what the differences are on that um, a few things before we do go and get that bus though is just to note um, it's still got all the interior Discover bus branding um, McKenna Brothers who do the branding for Sheffield are a little bit behind at the moment there's quite a few buses running around and without any branding on this is these are some of them um, that means that they haven't been in to take off the Discover bus branding any of the other interior branding um, that is still on them so they still feel like they still are Discover buses um, but they are discovering Sheffield instead of discovering the west of England um, so that's quite cool um, also as well they are the only vehicles in Sheffield now with high back seats high back seats aren't a standard thing in South Yorkshire they're a standard thing in West Yorkshire now with all of the street decks and the street lights the brand new street lights for Bradford as well feature them where they're putting high back seats into them as standard with e-lever seating here we go with older style um, first standard seating um, none of this um, sort of um, full height um, full height seats high back ones um, but we go for standard seats um, with maquette trim so this is non-standard to us but standard what West Yorkshire would be like as I say I'm quite certain that there are some of these that are already refurbished with an interior maquette and um, we'll see if um, 69508 is one of them um, but if not I imagine um, they'll get done at some point they are going to get retrimmed anyway but I imagine um, some of them will get retrimmed at some point and we'll probably be back to record another video but for now I'm going to head into the interchange and um, into the actual bus station and wait for hopefully I believe it's an X1 um, into Sheffield to get our second and probably unfortunately as it is final um, X West of England Discover bus and B7 R the Eclipse 2 um, of the video and just like that here it is and we've been treated with a B9 instead of a street deck 37526 So here we go, pretty much back where we started up the road. We're now going to have a little walk down down this road, cross over, and then wait for our bus on the 81. Um, it goes all the way up to Stannington, but we're only going to do it as far as Hillsborough today. Um, so hopefully that will give us enough time to have a little nosy around the bus um, and see if it's any different to 69502, see if obviously they've done any more refurbishment work to it, or does any other um, differences, because um, obviously it's quite an odd ball transferring 2, 3, 4, and then 69508. Um, so we'll see if there's any differences, see what other refurbishment they've done on it, if they've managed any, um, and just see what it's like. So we're running a fair few minutes early on the 81, clearly it's had quite a good run down Ecclesaw Road. It's 69508, that is BJ11EBX.
again unbranded because as I explained earlier McCann Brothers will take a little bit of a long time um, to come around the random. Morning. Thank you. So this one as you can see has already been treated to an interior V trim but I must say on these high back seats really really suits them although the leather seats um, are sort of cheaper standard and uh, make it easier to sort of obviously clean and tidy more than fabric seats I must say that on these with the blue seat backs and the um, like fabric um, sort of big seats on these high back seats they just look absolutely incredible so I think this is so basically there's one going around um, that's retrimmed one that isn't retrimmed so we've done quite well to get both of them so yeah hopefully this will be a nice run over to Hillsborough Thank you. So 
So here we are in Hillsborough, so what I will do is I will pass into the studio for a little bit of a sum up as to why we've got the buses, why they're here, the ones we've been on, the ones we haven't been on, and any other things that I may have missed. So to conclude this video, and on the screen now you will see the vehicles and their fleet number and the registration plate um, plates of the vehicles that have transferred over from West, first west of England, I believe it's the Bath Depot, and to Sheffield Olive Grove Depot for use on the Sheffield local services. It must be remembered at the moment at this time of filming, um, 69502 and 08 were the vehicles that went on. They were the first ones to enter service. 69504 went out on the day of filming. Um, obviously, this is quite a quick turnaround video, so it will be out literally the day after I filmed it. So 69504 did a morning out in service, um, like a couple of hours, and then went back to depot for fault. So it's unsure when that will be next out. And 69503 has been prepped for service, but at the time of filming, has yet to enter service with Sheffield. The vehicles themselves, um, as I say, have transferred from the Discover Bus Network um, that operates um, sort of from Bath um, down to sort of, I believe it's the southern rural regions, sort of the countryside areas um, around the southwest of England area. And the reason they've got these spare vehicles that they've transferred up is due to cutbacks that have taken place since the um, COVID pandemic on the Discover Bus D1, D2, D3 network. I believe it's either the D2 or the D3 has been withdrawn so they've had an entire route that's been withdrawn due to low passenger usage and the d1 service has been cut back in length um with sort of extensions that used to happen to the farthest end of the route on a weekday cut back and the sundays that i believe used to run all the way through to salisbury also now withdrawn again please correct me in the comments if any of this um is a bit out this is just stuff that i've read um, i'm not from that area so if if there's anything I may have missed, please do let me know, but I believe the vehicles have definitely transferred um, up north due to being redundant um, in west of England due to cutbacks on their Discover network. The buses themselves, as you can see, are midway through refurbishment. I believe they've been pressed out due to a vehicle shortage at Olive Grove at the moment, um, but are slowly going to be going through seats um, retrimmed, and then once the people who do the branding, who I believe are McKenna Brothers, um, are able to um, rock up and um, do the branding and get it all sorted, they will be branded both inside and out. So for now, although it has the Discover um, bus branding inside on both vehicles that went on, um, this will be a thing of the past, probably in about a week or two's time, I would imagine, um, when the vehicles hopefully do get branded up properly for Sheffield instead of just running around in plain undercoat blue. For now though, it was really, really nice. It was lovely to see more vehicles like this transferring. Obviously, um, Sheffield used to be used to have beaten BLE renowns that were lovely. Then it had B7Ls and it had the older Euro 3 B7 RLEs, some of which are still running around Doncaster, going to be video on them coming very soon. Um, but we've sort of since they all went, um, we've got the influx of Greater Manchester eclipses. We had some of the newer ones that came from the Essex Park and Rides and um, came from Doncaster and transferred over to Olive Grove and now these vehicles. So it's very, very nice to see a little sort of stronghold of B7 Ivory Eclipse vehicles that have had all different, um, come from all different walks of life, all operating in Sheffield. It provides a bit of variety. So with all of that um, in mind, I really hope you've all enjoyed this video. If you have done, do be sure to click that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have. And if you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the Andball Central YouTube channel for more content like this from the real life bus industry. Once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.